Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, I want to look back on 2015 and some of the top 25 albums that really influenced me and that I just thought were really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly go through the top 25. I'm not a music uh, critic or anything, so I'm not going to give a long, long thing on all of them. But yeah, here we go. Here are my 25 favorite albums of 2015. Okay, coming up in 25th place is a group called Saint Asonia. They're a bit of like a post-grunge uh, rock band. And they're a bit of a super group. You know, they've taken the lead singer from Three Days Grace and their guitarist has come from Stained. In 24, we have the blues psychedelic uh, garage rock band, um, The Dead Weather. And I really love, love, love Jack White. Um, in my opinion, he's the best musician ever. And he forms part of this, um, yeah, they're also like a, another super group. In 23rd place, we have the soft, dreamy rock of Coldplay. And I know it sounds exactly the same like all the other seven albums, but Head Full of Dreams, it's really cool, and I love this song called Fun. And number 22, it's a, it's a French electro new disco guy called Madion, and this is his album called Adventures. And I found out about him um, as one of his songs um, are on the FIFA 15 track list. So, yeah, go check him out. Then we have Of Monsters and Men. They're an indie, folk pop, easy listening uh, group. Um, although I really don't like their, their album design for Beneath the Skin. And actually in Iceland they had a, a different album and it looked, well the cover was different and it looked like this. But again, I don't really like it that much. Anyway, moving on to number 20 is Tame Impala. I absolutely love their old stuff. Like, it's some of my favorite music ever. Um, they were like psychedelic rock, and now it's more this neo psychedelia pop. It's cool, but it's not as epic as their, their previous stuff. Number 19 is Sir Robert Bryson Hall, uh, the second. Um, also known as Young Sinatra, also known as Logic. And this album, The Incredible Story, um, it's really cool. It's a little bit like a sci-fi adventure and um, I enjoyed it. Some of my favorite songs were Fade Away and Upgrade. And yeah, it's just good quality, good quality rap. In number 18, uh, we have Mumford & Sons. I wasn't a big fan of their earlier stuff, but this album, Wild and Minds, it's got some great songs. They're also a folk rock um, band, and they're from London. Um, Owl City Mobile Orchestra comes in at number 17. You know, I love Midsummer Station. So this album was a little bit disappointing because it's not, it's not as good as the previous one. Um, they're also synth pop. I love the album cover and so much so that I even made my, my own little version. This is my little fan art for, for Elf City. Um, give a little thumbs up on this video if you think the album art is pretty cool. Uh, next we have in number 16 place, uh, Passenger with Whispers 2. Um, again, I did prefer the previous album, but it's still pretty uh, epic this one. This is Michael David Ros uh, Rosenberg. He's the man behind the album. And Passenger, it's sad, depressing folk rock, but you get addicted to it, so it's pretty pretty sweet. Um, number 15 is Blur, and wow, I mean, I remember listening to Blur, and they had a track called Song 2, which was the title song of FIFA 98, I know that's like back in the day, and it was amazing. I didn't like anything else of theirs. Um, but this album, it's come up now in 2015, and it's kind of changed that. I really enjoyed it. In 14th place, we have uh, Bia Miller. And yeah, if you could take Taylor Swift and Avril Lavigne, Avril Lavigne and make like a clone baby, um, this is who it would be. You know, she's power pop, she's got lots of attitude, and she's very beautiful. So yeah, this is her album, not an apology. Go give it a listen. Uh, in 13th place, we have the legendary guitarist Joe Satriani with Shockwave Supernova. Um, he makes some of the best instrumental rock. I mean, all his albums are amazing. This one isn't his best, 
but it's definitely worth listening to. Uh, next up in 12th place, we have Ellie Golden. And for me, she is the goddess when it comes to synth pop and electronic music. I mean, her voice is so dreamy, and this album grows on you the more and more you listen to it. Number 11, we have Imagine Dragons. They're like a pop indie rock group from Las Vegas. And Smoke and Mirrors is their second album. It's got lots of tracks on, they're all great. But Rolling Stones magazine only gave them two stars. However, it did peak at number one on a few of the international billboards. Uh, in 10th place, we have the post-hardcore metalcore group um, called We Came As Romans. I only found them out this year. And apparently 40 songs were written for this album, but only 10 made it onto the final track list. So yeah, we're in the, to the top 10. So these, you must know, these albums are amazing. And number nine is another band that I only found this year. Uh, they're called Turbo Wolf, and their album is called Two Hands. It's a hard psychedelic rock um, with just a little bit of punk. Um, they're from Bristol, um, UK. And you definitely have to check out their music video for their song Voodoo. It's really crazy, but it's kind of creepy, but it's a lot of fun. Um, number eight, we have Passion Pit. This is another band I found out while playing FIFA. And this is the next album. They're, they're quite hard to define. It's They're like electro pop with a bit of neo psychedelia. It's, I don't know, it's, it's happy songs. Um, which is weird because their album art, I don't like it. It looks kind of sad. I don't know what they were doing there. But a band whose album art I did like was Bullet For My Valentine. They're coming in at number seven. This is their album Venom. And I love how the V stands for Venom. And it's also the Roman nu uh, numeral for the number five. And this is their fifth album. So I, I love what they did there. Um, check out their song Broken. It's got, yeah, it's got your heavy metal. And it's just got the perfect amount of screamo. So yeah, I love, love, love this album. Uh, we've got another synth pop group. Uh, these guys are from London. Uh, years and Years and their album Communion. Um, I only found these guys out now in 2015. I listened to this album so many times. It's so calming and relaxing. So yeah, if you're feeling stressed, uh, pop this album on. In number five, we have Infected Mushroom with their album Friends on Mushroom. I mean, this is the music I listen to while I gym. Um, it's, like, it's like psychedelic dubstep mixed with trance. Sure, I'm not sure anybody knows exactly what, what genre they are, but they're, they're pretty cool. Um, everything's about mushrooms. I mean, like, yeah, check, check this track list. I mean, we've got Savant on mushrooms. We've got Nerds on mushrooms. We've got Asterix on mushrooms. I don't know if they eat mushrooms and they come up with this music, but it definitely has, uh, yeah, something different about it. But I love it. It's really, it's really cool. It's really original. It's just brilliant. Okay, number four is Noel Gallagher with his album High Flying Birds. And he's best known for the group uh, that he did with his brother, um, Oasis. And normally I don't like solo artists who come from these legendary bands. But Noel's unleashed an album that, wow, this is an instant classic. And I mean, it deserves a place in every classic rock fan's collection. I mean, if you're into classic rock, you have to give this a listen to. Number three is Muse, uh, with their album Drones, and wow, this, this is just epic. I mean, the, it's like, there's a bit of a military style, theater, it's progressive rock, I mean, wow, this, this is music. I mean, it, it went number one in Australia, Belgium, Finland, Holland, Denmark, France, Ireland, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, Scotland, Switzerland, the UK, and America. And I think like in every other country, it was either second or third. I mean, wow. This, this album, it won a lot of awards. It's just, it's just brilliant. But for me, there were two albums that were better than it. And coming in in second place is True Colors by Zed. And when I think of 2015, this is the music that defines the year. Now, Zed is a Russian-German electro house musician. And I found him back in the day on SoundCloud when he was just starting out. 
And it's lovely to see how he's progressed into becoming, you know, famous. I mean, he's now making songs with Selena Gomez. I mean, Selena Gomez. I, wow. Sorry. I, I have a big crush on Selena. Um, but okay. That aside, what is the number one album of 2015? It's none other than Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. No, I'm just I'm just joking, guys. I'm just just joking. That that album, I listened to it and I like how she's trying to be original and everything, but it it didn't work for me. Okay, so let's let's be serious. Let's go to the real number one album of 2015. Um, I don't think many of you guys will have heard of him. He's not that famous, but he is incredible. Here it is. It's Andy Minion and his album Uncomfortable. Wow. I mean, this this is a masterpiece. And, I mean, just just go and listen to his song called Desperado. It, it will change your life. I mean, this is a game changer. This, this is a revolution in hip-hop and the whole rap genre. He is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is, this is also the album that I listened to the most last year. And seeing that it was only released in September... You must know, I was listening to this night after night, uh, day after day. He is incredible. So yeah, go find him. All of his albums are amazing. Um, what's nice now is before, you know, he was just kind of starting out. He didn't have the best backtrack music. Now he's got it. And, you know, is he the number one rapper in the world? In my opinion, yes. So yeah, that that is the top 25 albums for, for 2015. And I mean... What I've also done is I've uploaded my own uh, little album that I made uh, using GarageBand. It's a uh, synth pop, so you can go check out. It's happy, short, it's sweet. It's it, it's music that makes you yeah, it makes you feel happy. So you have to go try it out. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts. So go check it out. There should be like your yeah, little annotation thingy coming up where you can click on it and go check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time for, for some more tutorial videos. So yeah, cheers.